Good morning, y'all. Well, we are here. We are here the day after the Georgia Alabama game. Um, and I'll tell you what, these Georgia Alabama games uh, are starting to take a year off my life every game. Like each, each game we play, I'm getting younger and younger. Uh, I'm going to be younger and younger the, the, the year that I actually die. Uh, because these things are just something else. I mean, every every time they play, it's just something else. And it, you know, what what a what a what a what a what an amazing football game last night. I mean, when you when you want to talk about an instant classic, they're going to be playing this game on TV for 120 years. Um, if we have TV, then if, if 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 you know, you might have to like by by that time, you may have to stream. Uh, like the first quarter through Hulu, and then you might have to stream the second quarter through YouTube TV or something like that. But anyway, what 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 a great game that was. Um, I'm I'm just gonna tell you right now, <clears throat> when Alabama jumped up to a 28 to nothing point lead, I could look on social media. I you know I was a couple of people were were texting me, and I, I'm telling you, literally, literally everyone had given up hope. E everybody was saying that this game is over. You know, th this game is, is over. And I was, I look up and it's still two minutes left in the first quarter. And, you know, it, it definitely looked grim, okay? Alabama went up 28 to nothing in the first quarter. Well, you know, it was on into the second quarter by the time they scored their fourth touchdown. But regardless, they got out to a 28 to nothing point lead and everybody was saying it was over. Everybody was being so negative about the game. Bench Carson Beck, fire Mike Bobo, uh, Kirby Smart, this and that, just, just, on and on and on and on and on with everything you could ever imagine, um, and I, I'm I'm just gonna tell you right now, okay, I I, I I'll toot my own horn here, and and, and you know, I, you would be you would pat my back, but my hand's already there. I, I got on I got on Facebook, I got on social media, and, I, and I'm telling you, I was telling my wife in here, we we were we were in here, and I, I told her, I said, I, I'm t I'm telling you right now, I said I just I don't know what it is about it, I said, but I got a feeling. I said, I'm telling you right now, this game's not over. This game is not over. I said, it looks grim. It looks bad. I said, but it's not over, you know. And I got on there and I I, I made a, I made a post and I wrote, you know, I still believe that I still believe that Georgia's going to win this game. I do, and I did, I did. Now there was a couple times where I really had to reach deep inside that heart. Okay, I really had to reach deep, but I could see a way. I could, I found a way. And I believed, I believed that they were going to come back and win that game. And I kept telling Allison that, and I got on, you know, Facebook and I made a post at, at, at halftime. And I said, I said, I still believe George is going to win this game. And I said, everybody here, that's all y'all that are talking this smack, uh, Georgia fans acting like the game is over. Alabama fans talking smack like the game's over, like y'all got us. I said, everybody here is going to learn tonight that football is a four quarter game and the game is not over until the final quarter and the clock hits zero, 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 you know? And and I'm telling you, it just, it, things seemed to not go our way continuing out of halftime, and it started looking even more grim. And I just kept, I kept holding hope. I kept telling Allison, I said, I just, I think they're going to find a way. I said, they're, they're going to come back and win this game. I was telling my, my dad and, 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 and just a lot of people, you know, I said, how many times have we done this to Alabama? How many times have we dominated them like this and they come back and break our hearts in the end? And then next thing you know, it's it's 30 to, you know, they got the safety making it uh, 30 to 7. Then it was 30, 30 to 15. We got the two-point conversion. And, uh, you know, I, I can't remember if we scored again before they got that other field goal and made it 33 to 15 or if we had scored another touchdown by then. Um, but But we scored another touchdown and then stopped them and scored another touchdown. And you literally look up, and it goes from 28 to nothing to 34 to 33, okay? And we went for the two-point conversion there to try to make it to where if, even if they kicked the field goal, it would just tie the game, and we didn't we didn't get the, we didn't get the, uh, the, the two-point conversion. It didn't matter anyway because Alabama threw one pass to that, that superstar, Ryan Williams, and scored a touchdown. And then Georgia got the ball back with two minutes left. Uh, with all three timeouts and drove all the way down the field and was going down to score the game. I, I literally thought, I thought Georgia was about to score a touchdown and we were going to go into overtime. And at the last second, we threw it up to our big wide receiver, Colby Young. And the Bama guy was there and made a great play. Intercepted the ball, sealed the game. Alabama won. And I'm telling you, yes, it, it breaks my heart. It, it, it breaks my heart. It, it, it breaks my heart. 
I hate it so bad. I mean, Georgia really, really needed to win that game. Now, Bama is now uh, six and one against Georgia in the last seven. Um, and you know, all the all the jokes and all the comments and all the stuffs rolling in. But you know what? It's like I said at the beginning. Georgia needed to win that game. But but in the but 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 a day after, a day removed. Now that we've calmed down a little bit, it's like I said in the beginning. It's like everybody said in the beginning. It's like the national media has said. This game is a big game, and Georgia needs to win this game. But in the grand scheme of things, it's definitely not over for either team. Like if like if Georgia would have somehow won that game last night, it wouldn't be over for Alabama. If Alabama if they did win that game last night, it's not over for Georgia. Um, my dad texts me, and he's right about this. I wanted to make this point. Um, there ought to be. I, I don't care what the rankings say. I don't care what the AP poll says. I don't care what the coaches poll says. I don't care what they say about what team. Um. If you can't watch that game last night and not realize that that right there, that's the two best teams in the country, Georgia and Alabama. That's the two best teams in the country. Um, this thing ain't over uh, by a long shot. You know, I'm, I want you to know that these teams could literally play each other, not once, but 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 two more times. Uh, they they could they could quite literally play in the SEC championship game, and they could meet in the playoffs. Um, you know. I said at the beginning, Georgia could win tonight. Alabama could win the SEC championship game, and one of them could win, beat each other in the playoffs, or vice versa. You know, it just it matters and it hurts, and I, and I just I, I I hate it and I I can't stand it. Like with everything in me, I can't stand it. Um, I really really thought Georgia was gonna. I I, I said at the beginning, I thought Georgia was gonna win the game handily, and they didn't. Hey, hats off to Alabama. They're they're a lot better team than I than I gave them credit for. You know, they come out and jumped us 28 to nothing. Um, and I'm just going to tell you, you got to give Georgia Bulldogs a lot of credit. I mean, a lot of teams would have quit there, guys. Georgia went down 28 to nothing, and we had four turnovers and did not play a good football game. And we literally came back and, and almost won that game. And I, and I, for a second there, I thought we were. I thought we were going to break y'all's hearts like y'all have broken our hearts so many times, but it just wasn't meant to be in this one. And let's not forget, let's not forget that it was in Tuscaloosa. Um Y'all had the home field advantage, so uh, that's not that's not some small thing. I mean, that, that's a big deal, you know. I, I'm just I'm proud of my dogs. I'm I'm a, I'm a Georgia fan. If we go 12 and 0 and win the national championship, or, or you know, if we go 15 and 16 and 0, or if we, or if we go 0 and 12, you know, I'm I'm a, I'm a Georgia fan through and through. I'm just calling it like I see it this morning. These two teams will face each other again, and I'm not sitting here trying to say that Georgia's going to win the next one. You know, there's no telling. Alabama's liable to beat us again, but I can just about assure you of one thing. Bama's not going to go up twenty-eight to nothing in the next one, and it's and it, you know things are going to go completely different in the next one. Uh, Bama's liable to beat Georgia again. Georgia's liable to beat Bama, and they're liable to play again in the playoffs. Uh, this is the king of monsters. This this is the two best teams in the sport, regardless of ranking. I've seen it over and over and over again. Th these games are just incredible. I mean, <laughs> when these two teams go at each other, it, it's like it's just amazing. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, but I'm, I'm proud of my dogs. I hate that we lost, but in reality, it's not over. Um, this this could be this could be motivation for Georgia for the rest of the season. You know, we still got to go on the road and play Texas. We still got to go on the road and play Ole Miss. We got Auburn coming in this weekend. We got a, we got Tennessee coming to play us at home. You know, I know Alabama's got to play Missouri. I know Alabama's got to go on the road. And I, I believe they're playing on the road at LSU, and uh, they got to play Oklahoma and a couple of other teams um, that I can't remember right off the top of my head. But it's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a good season. It feels like it's over in my heart because I'm so heartbroken. But this is far from over, guys. This this, this whole thing. My dad takes me last night, and my dad must come say my dad is a little bit of a pessimist. He he's the type he can't see a way that we're gonna win, and I'm the type I can't see a way that we're gonna lose. And I'm telling you, last night, guys, if you talk to my wife or my dad, he called me when we went up thirty four to thirty three. And he said, "Son, you you were literally the only person in America that was still telling me." You, you were the only person in America that still believed the dogs were going to somehow win this game. He said even Kirby Smart didn't think that Georgia was going to win this game. And, I mean, what was so heartbreaking about it for me is I was the one holding on hope. I was the one having to keep my wife going, saying, it's, it's okay, honey. It's it's a four-quarter game. It's not over till it's over. We we can still come back. I was adding up the points. I'm like, we're down 18. If we can score a touch, we got to hold Bama. But if we can score a touchdown and get a two-point conversion and then get a touchdown and kick an extra point and then kick a field goal, that'll be 18 points and we can tie and take it to overtime. And then Georgia literally did that. 
They literally did that. They come back in miraculous fashion. I'm thinking, oh my goodness, yes. We're about to break their hearts like they've broken our hearts so many times. We're about to break their hearts worse than they ever broke our hearts. And we come back and go up 34 to 33. And somehow Alabama still finds a way to win the game. You know, they they, they scored that touchdown. And we, we were driving to score and it didn't work out. They intercepted us. But we got a long way to go here. This season is far from over. And uh, we will be seeing each other again. Georgia and Alabama will be playing each other again. Uh, whether it's the SEC championship or in the playoffs or both. We're liable to play twice. Um, this is the premier matchup in college football. I don't care what the rankings say. I don't care what the, they're probably going to drop. They're probably going to put Alabama at number one or number two, and they're probably going to drop Georgia to four or five or six. But I'm just, I'm telling you right now, they might as well put Alabama at number one and Georgia at number two, and it don't matter. You can flip flop them because they're going to play again, and it's going to go completely different. Um, I'm heartbroken, but I'm, I'm so proud of my dogs. They fought so hard. You know, a lot of people are going to make this game out to be like. We got blown out, and we did get blown out in the, at the beginning of the game, 28 to nothing. But, hey, they, they fought back and almost come back and won that game, guys. That, that that That's something to be proud of. That's something that we can build off of. You know, there was a lot of stuff that was there last night. There was a lot of stuff that was there. Carson made a couple of bad – you know, blame who you want to blame. The whole team had a bad game. Okay, we had four turnovers. Carson Beck made a, made a bunch of bad throws. But you know what? I seen a bunch of receivers drop a bunch of balls that were right in the hands. Okay, uh the defense you can't give up 28 you, you can't give you, you can't go you can't go down 28 to nothing on the road in Tuscaloosa it's just not going to happen i mean th they were saying that if georgia was to come back and win this game it would be the the greatest comeback in georgia football program history they were saying if georgia come back and won this game it would be the greatest comeback in a top 5 matchup in college football history and they literally almost did that um they didn't do it alabama won the game give credit to alabama congratulations y'all y'all got us again um but they're going to meet again, and, and we're going to see who's going to uh, we're going to see who holds the trophy at the end. Go dogs!